um, Crossroads Sunday School on YouTube. We'd like, I'd like to welcome you our story reader today. This is my mum, Jane Tatley, and she's going to be reading us The Very Worried Sparrow. Have fun. Thank you. Okay, you guys. Well, I'm sorry you're not um, able to be at church, but I'm going to be reading you this story this morning. And um, I've been thinking, all these birds are coming back and migrating back because nobody told them recently that actually that all the plane and uh, the barriers and everything are closed on all the countries, but the birds are coming back anyway. But this is a story about a very worried sparrow because I know a lot of you have been a bit worried about what's been going on in the news. And maybe your parents have been a bit worried too. So here we go, The Very Worried Sparrow by Meryl Doney and illustrated by Gabby Hansen. There was once a very worried sparrow. All the other baby birds looked up at the bright blue sky and sang, but not the very worried sparrow. He said in a very little voice. The first thing he worried about was food. Oh dear, he thought, I'm so hungry. Whatever am I going to eat? Suddenly, there was mother with a fat, juicy caterpillar for each baby bird. One day, father gathered the little sparrows around him. I think it's time you learn to fly, he said. Open your wings and flap. Whee! This is lovely, call of sparrows. Meep meep said the very worried sparrow i don't dare he was so scared he lost his balance and toppled off the branch flipped and flapped and flew when the sun went down father sparrow gathered his family together warm and snug in the nest he told them wonderful stories of long ago and far away of the great father god who made the world and everything in it, of how the day begins and where the wind comes from and the little things that every creature knows. The young birds listened with bright eyes, but the very worried sparrow peered out into the darkness. Me, me, he said, oh, oh dear. When summer came, the very worried sparrow felt just a little braver. He set off with his brothers and sisters to look for seeds in the field. Shwoosh! The terrible sparrow hawk came diving down. The very worried sparrow closed his eyes tight and waited, too scared to move. But when he opened them, he saw the sparrow hawk flying away. Meep! Meep! said the very worried sparrow. I'm going home! And he flew to the nest as fast as he could. The autumn winds blew and the trees shed their leaves. The snow fell, covering the ground, a soft layer of sparkling white. The sparrows thought it was wonderful. The very worried sparrow peered about him. The snow has covered up all the food, he said. And, and where will we find water to drink? But each morning, children scattered seeds on the path and broke the ice that glazed the pond. The sparrows had plenty to eat and drink all through the winter. Spring came and the sparrows twittered with excitement. It's nesting time, they said. They swooped and sang with all the other sparrows. Soon, pairs of birds were darting away, looking for safe places to build their nests. Me, me, said the very worried sparrow, his hair drooping. I'm all alone. The branch bounced as a little sparrow fluttered closer. She said shyly. Me, me, said the very worried sparrow. Will, will you be my friend? Oh yes, she said happily. I know a good place for a nest, she said. Come and see. And together they flew to a lovely apple tree. Me, me, said the very worried sparrow. It's lovely, but I expect other birds have found it already. It's a safe place. I found it just for us, chirped his mate. Come on. Before long, the sparrow was sitting in the nest, her warm feathers, and under her warm feathers were four speckled eggs. Meep, meep, 
said the very worried sparrow. Soon I'll have a family to look after and worry about. And far below in the grass, a cat was prowling. And high up above, a sparrow hawk was drifting on the wind. The very worried sparrow was looking very, very worried. What's the matter? asked a gentle voice. It was the turtle dove with soft white feathers. I'm so worried, wept the sparrow. Oh, oh, said the dove. Don't you know the stories of the great father God who made us all and who cares about every sparrow? Meep, meep, said the very worried sparrow. I, I was so worried I didn't listen. So as the sun went down, the dove gathered all the birds around her and told the stories of long ago and far away, of the Father God who made the world and everything in it, of how the day begins and where the wind comes from and all the little things that every creature knows. She spoke of the seasons and the years and how things grow and new life comes. And she told how the great Father God knows each creature and its time on the earth. Next day, the whole well sparkled in the morning light. Tok, tok, tok! A tiny sound came from each of the eggs, and soon four new baby sparrows hatched in the cosy nest. Then the very worried sparrow smiled. I can't wait to see them, he said. We can watch them grow and teach them to fly, and I will tell them about the great Father God who made the world and everything in it and who knows every sparrow. They won't have to worry for a single day. Then the very worried sparrow flew up into the blue sky. He sang loud enough to burst with happiness. Father God, thank you that you know all the sparrows in the world and you know every child and every one. Thank you Lord that you take care of every one of us, of every need that we have and that you're looking after us and we need not be afraid. Help us Lord to trust you. Amen.